This is what I'm talking about. A traditional two-seater soft top with rear-wheel drive at the back, a straight six at the front, and a cockpit full of leather and weather. It's British in every way, except for one small thing. It's German. It's called the Weissmann MF3, and under the pretty skin, you have the engine, sequential gearbox, and running gear from a BMW M3. That sounds like quite a recipe. Figures suggest it'll do 0 to 60 in 4.9 seconds and reach 158 flat out. I can believe that. What I cannot believe is how well this thing corners. You see the body and you think it's going to be as advanced as mud. But honestly, it corners like a Cylon Interceptor. It's very, um, delicate, very fingertippy, very poised and precise kind of car. The brakes are brilliant, the steering's fabulous, the grip is monumental. And when it does let go, you still don't have any worries. Of course, when you peel away the body, it's easy to see why this car handles so well. I have never seen such a low-profile tyre as that. Look at it. Might as well have just painted the wheel. And I've never seen springs as short as that either. I mean, normally they're like that long. And that's great. But I can't help thinking, what if I run over a manhole cover? I mean, there's no give in that tyre at all. There can't be any give in the suspension. So... It's going to break my back. It doesn't. Somehow, it glides over the bumps. I have been in less comfortable beds than this. But then that said, I've been in beds with more equipment than this. There really is nothing. It's even got wind-down windows. But Weissmann say that means there's less to go wrong. And you have to admit, they do have a point. This, then, is a fabulous sports car. Looks the part, goes like stink, and it's beautifully made. It's a 60s throwback with none of the 60s drawbacks. 